Uh, Charlie is uh, up in Pasco County this morning. And Charlie, you're in Zephyr Hills, and now that the sun is starting to come up, what are you seeing? Well, we've we've seen a lot. We've been on the clock now since 2 a.m., and we did our first live shot in the 3 o'clock hour over on Highway 19. So it was the west side of 19, remember, during Hurricane Helene that got all that storm surge and so much damage and flooding and water rescues. Doesn't seem to be the issue here, as our meteorologist told us. The storm surge wasn't going to be as significant to the north of Hurricane Milton. And there was power over there. We tried to then get to Dade City because we heard the east side of Pasco County has is, is been affected the worst so far. And this before the sun is up and we can really get a good look at it. We were driving through across 52 and so many of the power lines, the poles are literally looking like this. Should be like this. They're all like this. And at a particular spot in State Route 52, the power lines were swagged so low across the road. If, if, and if you can't see it at all, pitch black dark, if you'd hit it, it would, it would have created all sorts of trouble. Pasco County Sheriff's Office deputies on patrol out there looking for this sort of thing actually saw it, stopped traffic. We went down 41 then across 54 and, and got to Zephyr Hills. And so many neighborhoods in Zephyr Hills look like this, Russell and Laura. I mean, just debris everywhere. They're known for their big, beautiful trees here. And look at that, a tree across the road there uh, blocking one lane of the road. And uh, Jason will show you the, like, where it came up out of the ground. I mean, big old root system. I mean, you can tell it's a uh, you know, big tree that's been here for a long time. We're at Fifth Avenue and Beltram Drive, Beltram Drive in Zephyr Hills. A couple of streets. Oh, and look, you know, and then, then there's these giant trees right here uh, that, that made it just fine. You know, and, and that's the way these storms uh, go. You know, uh, your neighbor maybe have a tree across the, their house and, and you've got trees around your house and they're just fine. A couple of streets over, uh, the, it's completely flooded. Doesn't look like it got into the homes, but the road's impassable and there's another tree on a house two lane, uh, two streets over. Talk to the fire rescue here in Zephyr Hills and Pasco County Fire Rescue uh, and they're telling us that the, the calls for service have just been crazy. They stopped them at 6 p.m. yesterday, started back up again about 2 a.m., and they have been running nonstop. Power lines down, trees in houses, trees across roads. It's it's a real mess. It's a, it's a real mess here, and it looks like most of the damage so far, from what I'm hearing from the Pasco County Fire Rescue, east side of the county. Unprecedented flooding they're seeing over here, and all sorts of damage everywhere. Russell and Laura, I'm sure this is, I'm sure this is going to be the story as the sun comes up throughout and right. especially our friends and neighbors to the south i just my stomach aches of what we're going to see yeah. in that part of our Agreed. tampa bay area absolutely i know it's heartbreaking charlie